I really need a camera, man. So there are a lot of great tools and equipment to make it extremely easy to get these tops off of the Wranglers, whether it's the four-door Wrangler, the two-door Wrangler, the JL, the JK, the TJ, whatever the case may be. If it's got a hard top, it's not the easiest to take off. But for today, I wanna to show you guys the easiest way to get the hard top off of your Wrangler all by yourself with no help at all and no fancy equipment. Now, before we even get started, if any of you guys have owned a Jeep Wrangler and you've never taken the doors off or the top off, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So on any of the JLs or even the JKs, no matter if you have a two door or four door, the first step is gonna be removing your actual freedom panels. So you can see here, you've just got some levers and that's pretty much about it for a JK. You will have a little turn knob right there, basically into the sound bar that you'll need to screw out. But for the JLs, they did do away with it, but we'll simply just turn all those knobs and we'll be able to lift these off. You'll lift the driver off first, then you can take off the passenger. Then like I said, start with the front. You just push this up, grab it from the outside, and you do the exact same thing over here. Now one of the most overlooked steps in the entire process is making sure you've got a space laid out to actually put your top, your doors, whatever the case may be. So for this, it's always important to go ahead and lay out a few pads, towels, mats, whatever you wanna put down, just to protect the paint on your actual top or doors themselves. So now for the next part, you'll want to get your supplied hardware with the Jeep. All of the Jeeps actually come with the little toolkit you'll need to actually be able to take the top off and these torque bits, the T-bits that it actually comes with, disassembles a lot of different things on the Wranglers. It gives you the ability to be able to work on a lot of different things on the Jeep, especially if you got like steel bumpers, stuff like that. So it makes it really easy. Of course, for the JLs, for the JKs, you've got a nozzle back here that goes to your washer fluid. You've also got everything controlling your defog as well as your actual wiper motor itself. So we'll disconnect those real quick. You just basically push them down, pull it apart. And for this one right here, you just pull down the red tab. And once you pull it out, you should be good to go. Now I usually pull on a little bit too hard at first and I always get this piece coming down, but it's no big deal. On all mine, it literally comes out and I just push it right back up and you're good. And you can see Jeep actually gives you some plugins built in back here. So to hold them down, you can actually just plug them in. It makes it really easy. And now looking from the back side, you'll see that you've got three bolts on each side. So three right here and three right there on that side as well. And then aside from those, all you're gonna have is your top ones so you'll have some right there and one on the opposite side right there as well and that's literally all that you'll have to untighten to actually get this top off now of course you can use uh, uh little power tools or something like that to get these off i think that's perfectly fine if you do want to take these off i don't recommend tighten everything back down with power tools with these if you do over tighten them uh, you definitely could crack that uh, top it's just not worth it at the end of the day almost inevitably if you do it enough you're going to end up messing something up down the line so i just revert back to the old hand tools and it's simple it just takes an extra few seconds now one thing i will say about these is typically depending on where i live at the time i will actually just usually set up some kind of harness or pulley system and uh basically just attach it and lift it off now I know that depending on where you live, that might not be a possibility for you. I've even done it on trees, uh, using a tree limb, stuff like that. So essentially all you do is run a chain or a rope, whatever the case may be, a ratchet strap around a tree or around a rafter in your garage or building. And essentially you just back into it. And then after you get all these bolts taken out like we're doing right now, then you find a couple of decent anchor points. And then you can literally just hook up the top and you can ratchet it up or pull it up with a pulley system and then you can drive right away from it. So that is extremely easy and that's usually what I prefer to do. But depending on where you live, you don't always have that option. So what we're gonna do today literally covers the bases, even if you live in an apartment somewhere or anything like that. Now, once you get done with the back ones, you just move up to the front and you simply do the exact same thing right here. Now, these are usually tightened a little bit more, but not much more. It does go directly into the actual roll cage right there. Now, one thing to note right here is that 
Jeep makes all of these the exact same length, the exact same thread pitch. So no matter if you get them from the back or if you get them from up front, you don't have to worry about mixing them up or anything like that. Jeep knows if they made it too difficult, we'd probably mess it up. So uh, on these, there is an easy place to store them. If you just lift this up and it makes it extremely easy just to make sure you don't lose any of these bolts that you're actually taking out. So now that the whole time consuming part is all over, I'm gonna show you the fastest part, but maybe not the easiest until you get it down pat. So the first time you try to lift this off, you're probably gonna run into it being a little bit sticky. It's actually got some like double sided 3M uh, going alongside the actual tub itself where the hard top actually meets the body. So if you haven't taken it off and keep in mind, I haven't taken this actual top off yet since I've owned it, just taking the freedom panels and doors off so it's had plenty of time to bond and stick together. So the first priority now is just gonna be pushing it and basically getting it off that double-sided tape so it can separate. So now it's all lifted up and it's got those little friction clips the actual friction clips go into the body itself. So I lifted those up, pushed it back just a little bit. Now you're gonna to get to a certain point whenever you've pulled it back a little bit and the top actually starts to hit the sound bar itself. So what you wanna do is go up to the front, push it over the edge of the sound bar, then you can continue the rest. Then once you've got her about a foot hanging off the tub right here, you can just go ahead and close this gate right here. That way you don't have to worry about hitting it anymore. Then eventually you want to close your hatch right here. Then you'll just walk it over. I really need a camera, man. Oh. Then essentially, You'll just come right down here wherever you've got your mat, wherever you've got your mat set out, and you'll basically just let this fall on top of you. You can crawl right out. So I'm not even gonna lie, I haven't done that in a long time. And if any of you actually know me, you'll know back in the day, I used to be pretty big, lifted all the time, stuff like that. And I haven't tried it since I've been this size. So if you guys can tell now, I'm really small. So that was quite a bit more difficult than what I remember it being. Nevertheless, it is still 100% manageable. And if you're all alone, what other option do you really have? So now that we've actually got the top off and we've still got the doors on, it's a completely different look from what I'm used to. To be 100% honest, I don't think I've ever taken the top off and left the doors on, but I think it looks weirdly cool. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments. It kind of gives you like H2T vibes right here. Kind of like that weird truck style, not necessarily the avalanche style with that long bed, but kind of like an H2T. I really like that look right there with the doors on. Since we've done that, let's go ahead and just take the doors off anyway. Uh, hopefully it'll be warm enough to at least drive it around like that for today and we'll just wait till it warms up again to drive it next time now for taking the doors off i do have a full video on taking the doors off as easy as possible so now we've got the doors off as well and as you can tell it looks a whole lot better but with just the doors on it looked pretty good too now keep in mind we literally did all that with that simple tool kit right there it's pretty impressive and of course like i say jeep gives you that little kit so it makes it extremely easy but it definitely does look a lot better with the doors off to match that topless look.
honestly can say you can't beat the open air experience. Now, I haven't honestly taken the entire top end doors off of this Wrangler yet, so today is the first day. It's only like 60 degrees right now, so it's not the best time, and I know it's gonna rain later this week, but one thing to keep in mind, if you take off the top on your Wrangler, you can almost 100% bet it's gonna rain someday soon. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Any day you take the top off and you're needing to use that as your daily driver, be prepared to put that top back on within the next 30 minutes because it can easily happen extremely quickly. But I hope this is the encouragement you guys need to go ahead and take your top off. Starting off the year right, go ahead and enjoy that Jeep. If you're by yourself, don't be afraid you can do it. Most of you can do it anyway. So keep that in mind and just enjoy it. Now with all that being said, if you guys haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see next. But until next time, Godspeed.